Hey y'all, so I'm all finished with my ACV rinse and there is definitely a considerable difference in the color of my locks um, and in, even in how my locks feel. So I actually am on the fence a little bit because part of me is kind of like, well maybe I should just add this in like every eight weeks instead of um, the shampoo that I was using on my hair. Pardon. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know. The water was pretty murky. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm hoping. There we go. That's a better angle. So as you can see, my, my locks are pretty black. And um, the only thing I did was spray a light leave-in conditioner on my locks. Um, it was a liquid leave-in conditioner. Because I just didn't want to put anything heavy on my hair because I felt like it would defeat the purpose. In fact, hold on a second. Okay. So here is what I used. Now, I know some of y'all are like, detangler, Ty. What? But honestly, the moisturizer and the heat protecting part, that's really the reason why I got that one. And I got this leave-in conditioner when my hair was not locked. And, um... I just figured, hey, what the heck, why not? Plus, I'm fully locked, and I don't intend on combing my locks. So, I really don't think that'll make that big of a difference. If you know of any research, or you've seen anything, or you think that that's different, and I should totally stop using that, and you can show me a legitimate reason why, I'll definitely be open to hearing some opinions. But other than that, if not, then I feel like conditioners, I mean, well, the light spray conditioners that have detangler in them I'm not that concerned about them because unless you intend on combing your locks out it doesn't really matter as much um anyway so here we go locks are definitely blacker um I was a little bit even surprised sort of but then at the same time I wasn't because I work out like six or seven days a week and I sweat a lot from my scalp so it makes sense to me that my hair would be questionable I also work in a gym around equipment and just so it makes sense to me that my hair would be probably a little dirty um but the second time that I went through and rinsed my hair out it actually didn't look that bad at all the water actually was pretty clear so I think just coupled with season change season seasonal ooh, seasonal changes um and um washing your hair and maybe not washing product all the way and pollen and dirt and dust and stuff I think that a certain amount of um kind of dirt in your hair is going to be to be expected almost but you should definitely be keeping your hair pretty clean so um i would seen in a couple other videos people said they wash their hair afterwards but to me that seems kind of productive like I was saying earlier because if you if the issue with getting build up in your locks is that you can't exactly wash all of the product out then why then turn around and put more pro I don't know whatever so I did not wash my hair I rinsed my hair for about five to seven minutes and then I put in my spray leave-in conditioner and then we're gonna just kind of see what that does for us from here um, but I actually do like the ACV rinse I feel like it's a very eye-opening experience because I'm like dang I don't even really use that much product in my hair like I use oils and a shampoo and that's it I don't put nothing else in my hair and I'm like that was in my hair was the water was looking questionable and that was all I used. I can't imagine people who are like using wax and all kind of stuff in your locks, y'all. I told y'all the build up, my fear of build up is so real. Like some people think it's irrational, but nah, bro. Like you saw the water, questionable. Anyway, so here we go. Hair, here's my hair. I actually feel like my hair looks like it's grown a little bit, even since I did it last or since I put Bantu knots in it. So there we go. And that's it for now. Um, I have a wedding to go to this week. So I'll be probably putting some more Bantu knots in my hair to give my hair a little bit of bump. Or I'll be definitely searching the YouTube for style ideas because my hair is short right now and I have no clue what I'm going to do with my hair. But I'll definitely take pictures and I might even just make a video so you guys can see what I decided to do to my hair. 
Um, and then we'll talk about how to prepare your semi-freeform hair for formal events. That's my next video. How to prepare your semi-freeform hair for formal events. We're going to go through some styles and stuff real quick together. Um, that's all for now, y'all. Love and light.